I'm Justin Lucas Savage of Backcountry Treks, and today we're going to talk a little bit about solar. Um, all of these products are by a company called Enerplex, and so I have all the details here in a blog post, but I want to describe a few things. I've got a couple solar units and then a couple of external or remote batteries. First and foremost, this is the Kicker 2, and what I like about this is how many different ways you can really use it. I'm going to pull out the internals of this to show you that this is the solar panel and it's very very flexible so you can get that on the side of a backpack or however you want to use it uh, so very durable in that regard so it just kind of slips into this case here and what I like about basically everything that these guys make is that now this isn't waterproof it is fairly water resistant is that you have this little cover to keep out dirt uh, and water in here so you can stuff that on in there uh, and then you can see what that looks like but again a very flexible product so uh, you can attach it to a backpack you've got this clip back here so you can hang it somewhere uh, out in the sun so this is the the kicker too it doesn't have a lot of power associated with it with just these two small panels uh, in fact this is um, three watts and the maximum output is 0.6 amps so not a lot if you know anything about that um, won't doesn't do a really good job charging an iPhone in fact but there is a workaround in fact I'm not going to show you that I'll talk about it as we go on here this is a couple steps up this is the kicker 2 or sorry the kicker 4 and the really cool thing about this again very flexible so you're not limited to a rigid uh, a, a rigid unit here so it'll flex you can put it in the backpack when you're hiking if you want to you know put it around your backpack however you can get it out in the sun this does come with a number of these I've got a, a few girls living in the house these are really big hair ties basically uh, and so you can just slip this over the unit and attach it to your backpack or however you want to do that again a very durable and compact unit here that just folds up. The same unit here on the side that you've got this plugged into, this is very similar to the Kicker 2, but the maximum current is 1.2 amps, so you get a big boost in power. Uh, now I'm gonna show you what a lot of people imagine with these things is that you're gonna plug your iPhone or something into this and, and charge it, and that's really not the best the best use for these so I'm just gonna put this we have pretty good Sun here it's not if I angled it directly at the Sun it would be like that and so I'll put this down here and so you can hear it charge so it vibrated now a lot of times I'm gonna get an error uh, in fact if I put it just like that see the Sun's still signing on it but I get an error that says this accessory may not be supported you're gonna run into that mainly on iOS devices the workaround for that is and actually let me talk about this one because this has much more power coming from it i can plug my iphone in but you have to be really careful if a cloud comes over and interrupts uh, the charging here even just one cloud for a split second you're going to get that message and then the iphone your ios device won't immediately go back to charging you have to unplug it and plug it back in so that can be a pain that is where these remote batteries really come in handy and this is what you're going to want to do with it i'm going to unplug my iphone from that this is the jumper slate 5k you'll notice it has one input this is to charge it and so what i'm going to do here is plug the usb into the solar panel and then plug the other end in and you'll see some lights on it uh, that are charging so this will actually hold your power and so it, again if you're hiking or, or especially if you have a base camp set up with a tent or something you're going to want to leave this in the sun uh, try to get this out of the sun putting it in a tent or underneath it like that that's going to charge this up but if you want to charge it has this pass-through capability so it has two ports here and it says on the back um, one of them is uh, one amp the other is two amps and so I'm gonna plug this since it's an iPhone I'm gonna plug it into a one amp doesn't quite matter um, unless you're doing it a lot but then I'm gonna press the on button so my phone begins charging with this and then here's what happens is that this battery is currently charging my phone it is not being charged by 
uh, the solar panel right now. So it's charging the phone. As soon as the phone tells the battery that it's full, it shuts off that charging, and then the solar panel begins charging that battery. So that's the really cool uh, use case for this, and you can actually charge two things at one time with this. One other thing that I wanna talk about is this Jumper Max. It is really a very slim profiled uh, remote battery. It has these holes in the, uh, the sides of it because uh, really to fit a number of things, but specifically binders. So if you're a student and you have a binder and you wanna put that into it, it fits really slim and it's not gonna get in the way. It's just, you know, it's, I think it's thinner than it is. It's thinner than my iPhone 5. So you have uh, on the side of it here, you have the ability to charge with the USB, it has the same micro USB input, uh, and then a power button, as does the Jumper Max, that you can see the battery level. The really cool thing is, is it has another micro USB just kind of hidden in here. So especially if you have an Android uh, device or anything that takes that uh, type of input to charge it, it just, it's a really durable kind of tethered thing. So you can just do that and plug it in. Um, the, the downside to these types of things, I used to have a really short cable that I would plug into these remote batteries. And that's kind of the thing with this. If you're plugging an iPhone in and you need to talk on it, it's kind of like this and you're holding this, you gotta hold both things uh, up to your face. And so I like the longer cables with this so I can leave it in a bag. Oftentimes I've run into situations where I've had to walk through airports and my phone is dead. And so I'll leave this in my bag or in my pocket and I can still talk if I need to make a phone call uh, by doing that. So. Some really cool, interesting products here. Um, solar is becoming really big uh, in the backcountry in your car as you're driving to or from the backcountry to replenish what you used. Again, this is all from a company called Enterplex. They have a number of things, including generators and some other stuff that I think is very worthwhile for you to check out. I'm Justin Lucas-Savage at Backcountry Treks.